see a bunch of boarded up windows, it can just kind of add to the general anxiety and depression. Going down the street is a really dismal situation. Right now, it's so important that people feel love and, and know that uh, there's love in the communities and that it doesn't look like Armageddon. Paint the Void is a project initiative between Building 180 and the nonprofit Art for Civil Discourse to help bring murals to businesses that have been shuttered in the wake of COVID. They had this idea to to paint on all the boarded up windows around the city and provide a little life on the streets. It's a way for us as artists and also the organizations to communicate with the people and, you know, make sure they know we're there for them. It started when we had seen uh, a few articles that were written about all the boarded storefronts and we thought uh, what would be a good way for us to try to give back. And since we are very involved in the arts, we just thought that beautifying the streets with murals would be good, a good place. They're providing some funds to, to fund these small murals. People can donate and that's covering supplies and also giving the artists a little bit of a stipend to kind of, you know, pay for food and keep moving on. I think that artists, again, really want to always be creating regardless of what the circumstance is and this gives them another outlet to do so and gives them some purpose and some, some hope and some way to give back and I think that everyone is really struggling and figuring out what to do. We are hoping that the art will extend from San Francisco into Oakland um, and around the Bay as much as we can take on. Maybe it'll, you know, lighten someone's day a little bit on their way to work or just when they're trying to get some fresh air. I want to be able to do something and, and give back to the community a little bit. Being able to provide something for them is a big deal. It means the world to me. It's amazing to see how people have come together. We're kind of blown away.